Scorpio, get ready to do your reading. Energy update for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. It's a general reading, so it may or may not resonate with you, but if this title brought you in here, compelled you to click it, well, there's probably something in here for you. It could just be one thing I say. This reading is timeless, so whenever you find it is when you're meant to find it. I don't care if it's August of 2030. Energies are cyclical. They come around and around. Right now, May 3rd, 2021, I'm shuffling the deck. You see my shadow? There it is. Look at that. We got shadows today. Little shadow puppets here on Steve's Love Tarot. Let's cut the deck for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. See what's going on here. See what's happening. we go. I can tell you the energies around this is going to be an interesting reading. I always read the energies first. I, I, re, I always say I read energies, not cards. Uh, the cards are pretty pictures for you to look at, and they kind of help me tell you the story. Uh, yep, yep, yep. Somebody's making a plan, Scorpio. That's what's in the energy for you, and I knew it. Bottom of the deck, get us started. Overall energy is the Nine of Swords here in my deck. Nine of Swords. Now, normally that's someone pacing around the kitchen at 2 o'clock in the morning with a bottle of whiskey, worried about you, worried, up all night. But that's not really what the energy off of this is. It, it, this is really reading the energy that I read as I was shuffling the deck. And that energy is someone who's making a plan. Someone's making a plan to come toward you. I suspect it's someone who's not too keen on emotions. Someone who isn't real good at facing their emotions or speaking emotionally along those lines. Uh, I think they probably just want to find a middle ground where they don't sound too gushy or they don't sound too business. Doesn't sound like a, some sort of contract proposal, you know. Let's see where we go, Scorpio. This is going to be an interesting read, and I know it. I can feel it. Right here, you get, that's why you're getting an energy update this week, let me tell you. If you haven't watched your May reading from me, go watch it. This whole, this is branch, this energy here is branching off of that. Okay, I do the energy updates because things maybe changed a little. Energies change all the time. People change timelines with every decision they make. Right here is the energy around your person, your situation, depending on how the card falls. Right here is how they feel in their emotions. This is how they feel about you. This is hidden energies, things you don't know, things you can't see. I'm about to tell you. And right here is the final outcome. I'll clarify everything, throw some universe cards over the top, make a few jokes, because jokes keep the energy nice and even, and I like to keep my readings light. But this is going to be interesting. If I think we need to extend this one, I will. I'm not sure. I, I think we're going to get a lot of information here. I don't think there's anything particularly wrong with your person. I think they're just not good with emotions. Let's see. First card out, Destiny, Wheel of Fortune. Energy around your connection right now, Scorpio, is pure, unadulterated destiny. And I feel that in the energy, too. That card represents what I'm feeling perfectly here. That's why I kept saying it's going to be an interesting read. Um, the wheel is turning in, in the favor of this connection. The universe is stepping in. You two, you two have a destiny to fulfill. There's no doubt about it with that card falling in this position. It's a powerful position. It's a powerful card. How's your person feeling in their emotions? Well, we know the Nine of Swords represent at the bottom of the deck tells us that they're making a plan. How do they feel in their emotions? <laughs> the Sun. Two cards out, two major arcanas. Destiny. All right? Use your proof right there. The sun. This is how they feel in their emotions. You bring them nothing but happiness. And this also represents, it's the opposite of the moon. All right? Moon is divine feminine, sun is divine masculine. This is where the moon is things hidden in the shadows and all that. This is someone who's revealing the shadows. The sun comes out, lights everything up. It's in their emotions, they want to talk. And again, I read it strong in the energy. It's someone coming up with a plan to come towards you. It's, it's just powerful. It's destiny right here. Here's how they feel about you in their emotions. <laughs> Page of Swords. Well, they're impressed with you because they've been watching you. Uh, 
this person right here, this also is a card of immaturity. It's the Page of Swords. That's not how they feel about you. That's them. Okay? That's them not being good with their emotions. All right? They know that they're the Page of Swords. I imagine when we clarify this, a card that identifies you will come out. All right? It may be a king or something along those lines or an emperor or something like that will show up here. I hope. Anyway, I don't know. It might. But this, I read this energy two ways. One, they're impressed with you because they're keeping an eye on you. They've been watching you. They still are. And also, it's, them, it's, it's a representation of them as they see you not being able to deal with emotions. Again, they're trying to come up with a plan to come in. Uh, right here, I can't, this is going to be a great reading. Right here, Seven of Pentacles, Hidden Energies. These two cards are read together. These two are read together. This is standalone right here. Seven of Pentacles. This is planting seeds, waiting for them to grow. It's divine timing. It's something that's worth waiting for. In, in this case here, what you don't know is this is about to spring to life. These plants are about to pop up out of the ground because it's destiny. The wheel is turning in your favor. What you don't know is this person's actually really thinking about you on their side. They are coming up with a plan. The Seven of Pentacles is about coming up with a plan. It's about a farmer on most decks who is waiting for his seeds to come in. All right, watching the ground. They got a plan. They plant the seeds. You wait for them to come in. You tend to it while it's coming in. And then they come in. You're about to come in. It's, it's all about the plan. Again, I read the energy right. I've, I've been reading energy since I was four years old. Long before I knew what a tarot card was. These cards are just here for me to show you pretty pictures and help me help validate my story that I'm picking up in the energy. This is someone, you take my word for it, they're coming up with a plan on their end to come towards you. They don't want to seem too gushy and they don't want to seem too businesslike because this is someone who is, either, is kind of a Mr. or Mrs. Spock, right? Mr. or Mrs. Spock. They, they don't really know how to deal with emotions well. They don't know how to express them very well. Not perfectly well. Right here. I'm getting that surprising for one or two of you. One or two of you may not know that. Like maybe your person's an actor or something like that or an actress or something along those lines. And you would think that those people would know how to express emotion very well being in that kind of thing. They might be just a creative person in general, maybe an artist of some kind or something. And you would think they might know. And that's only for a few of you. Well, you would think that those type of people might know how to express emotions well, but you'd be surprised. They actually don't in their real life. They tend to keep control over them. Artists in general tend to keep control over their emotions. That's how they can do their art, and they release them sporadically. But they don't know how to... Sometimes, and yeah, that's why sometimes like, like actresses and stuff like they go crazy, you know, hit... Hit, the, hit people with spatulas and all that, chase them down the street, all that kind of stuff. That's, that's all that kind of thing. But anyway, your person doesn't know how to deal with emotions. They're making a plan. I'm telling you, what's the final outcome? <laughs> Eight of Cups. Well, now that's downright confusing right there. That's right off the sun. Mm. Well, we'll have to see where this goes when we clarify it, because the energy off the card tells me they're walking toward the Nine of Cups, which is a wish fulfilled. But this person has an urge because, the, again, they're sitting in the background. I want you to think about it for a minute. They're sitting in the background, making a plan, spying on you and watching you and impressed with you. They don't, they, they feel, look at what they feel, a ton of emotions, right? The sun. You're nothing but happiness. It's a powerful connection driven by destiny and the, and the universe itself with the Wheel of Fortune. And they don't know. They're not real good with their emotions. They're not real good at expressing emotions. So their, their inclination might be to run away. Now, this is a minor arcana card. It's subject to their free will. I don't think they will because it's, it's, it's red with the sun. They're not going to run away from the sun. I think we're going to find when we clarify that this is clarified by some good cards. I hope I'm right. I feel the energy good. I feel your person's plan. It's coming together. It's coming together probably pretty quick, too. Wheel of Fortune, what's this about? Let's shuffle the deck. Let's find out what this Wheel of Fortune is. All right, we got our shuffle. Hmm. This card showed up twice, and it made me look at it. This was at the bottom of the deck for the pre-shuffle before I hit the record button. If it went by me, it's gone by me three times in shuffles so far. It's a uh, six of wands. 
This person wants victory with you and they want transformation. I showed you the card like you know what it is. Unless you know this deck, you don't know what it is. I'm like, I think, oh shit, I better tell them what the card is. It's six of wands. This person wants victory with you big time. They really do. Is my card, is my deck upside down? My deck is not upside down. This card came out reversed. My deck is not upside down. All right? Wow. This is the four of pentacles. Oh, they're afraid. They're they're afraid to lose you. They're really afraid to lose you. Yeah. That's why that's why that six of wands is there. That's what this eight of eight of cups is. Yeah, they're afraid to lose you. They're afraid. They're afraid of that. That's why they're trying so hard to come up with a plan. Why is this four of pentacles reversed here? Page of wands reversed. Wow, and the next card's not reversed. That's what's crazy. The next card's not reversed. It's just these two in my whole deck, and they came out together. This is, uh, they're afraid to lose you because they didn't communicate. They've never told you anything, have they? For a lot of you, this person's been dead silent. I'd say crickets chirping, but crickets make noise. This person's been dead silent. They haven't told, either that or you have talked to this person, and they just haven't shared any emotions. And then and they, and they know it. They're afraid, they're afraid that they, if, if they don't, they're going to lose you because you bring them happiness. And this is a destined connection. It's got to feel very powerful to your person. Let me shuffle the deck. Let's see what this sun's about. See what this sun card's about. I don't know how those two cards got reversed in my deck. I sometimes think little elves come in at night and mess with my deck. Because I'm, I'm anal about making sure that deck is uh, straight up. Let me tell you. Yeah. Page of Cups. Page of Cups coming out against the sun. They want to come in. They're going to come in. They're trying. This is a middle ground. This is someone who's coming in soft. Not too soft, but soft. With a little apology, probably. Again, looking at the card before it for, for being quiet, for not communicating. It, 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 they're definitely. That's all they want to do. This is in their emotions. This is what they want to do. Yeah, justice clarifying that wow that's karma karma but this is also someone i see with this page of wands reversed and, and this destiny here uh this is someone who looked in the mirror looked themselves in the mirror and, and said i need to get it together or i'm gonna lose scorpio basically i mean i'm paraphrasing I'm sure that's not what they said i'm sure your name's not scorpio but it might it might be that'd be kind of cool wouldn't it yeah anyway uh anyway someone who looked at themselves in the mirror and didn't like what they saw maybe they were a black cat and they saw the white cat maybe they were a white cat and they saw the black cat either way whoever looked at who didn't like what they saw and it's because right here uh, they're not expressing any emotion they got deep emotions for you with the sun here that's deep that's powerful hell if you know What's this page of swords? Let me shuffle the deck for the page of swords. What's it about? Spying and admiring. Also, they got a little bit of... They're immature about their emotions, for sure. Oh, I need, I need more shuffle. There we go. Now we got it. Yeah, six of pentacles. And I need one more on that. Yeah, there it is. I knew the page of pentacles was going to show up because they're making a plan to come forward and talk to you. The page of pentacles is studious communication. Someone who, who plans every word. That this person, this isn't how they feel about you. They're watching you, and they're using that information to plan every word, and they know. Maybe something you said. Maybe you got a blog and you said something, or something you said on social media. They know that they need to come in with equal give and take, or you won't even deal with them. And that's what they're afraid of. And that's why, see, these two cards here mirror each other. They're bookends. All right? They're, they're planning every word because they don't want to lose you. They're very afraid of it. And they haven't expressed their emotions in the past. And they got deep emotions with the sun here. Deep. They are watching you. So you can strategically do some social media things. Seven of Pentacles. What's it about? Let's shuffle the deck. Here we go. Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Oh, here we go. We got our shuffle. Here we go. Four of Wands. Their plan is long term with you. This is about planning the Seven of Pentacles. That's what you don't see is everything I'm telling you. I'm giving you the hidden energies. When I read the energy as I shuffle the deck at the beginning of the reading, 
I'm giving you stuff that's hidden. I'm not telling you obvious things you know. What's the point of that? They're planning because long term. They, this is a twin flame connection. It's probably either that or deep soul connection with the Wheel of Fortune. And the cards that have fallen here, the Sun, the Wheel of Fortune, the Four of Wands. I don't even need a Two of Cups or a Lover's card. I can just read this energy. It's a very strong connection. It's destined. It's powerful. With Wheel of Fortune falling in this position, it's a damn powerful connection. And they got a lot of feelings, but you're dealing with somebody who doesn't know how to express feelings very well. So you got to keep that in mind. And that's why they're planning every word, because they see long-term with you. This is marriage, commitment, happiness. They also see, as we know from the sun, a lot of happiness with you. We ask, why is that four of wands here? Right here. Queen of Swords. They're going to come in and speak their truth. That's the plan they're making, to come in and speak their truth. Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords is the exact opposite of the Page of Wands reversed. Page of Wands reversed to somebody who didn't speak their truth, passionately or otherwise. In fact, they probably passionately ignored the crap out of you, Scorpio, for a lot of you. Not all. But right here, this Queen of Swords comes in and speaks the truth. But it's tempered by a Wands card. It's tempered by passion. So this is balance right here. This is a balance between cold and passion. And that's what they're trying to find. That, that's what these three cards say with planning down the middle here at the base. They passion, long term, but they want to speak the truth without too much. Again, they really just, I really get this person just does not know, never felt love like this before, does not know what to do, does not know how to communicate this. They are back and forth typing things, erasing things, typing things, erasing things, changing this. Oh, should I say that word? Scorpio know what that word means? Oh, that word's too strong. Oh, I'm going to need to change that. I mean, it literally is like that. Literally. Now, this Eight of Cups is red with these cards. These cards are red with these. These are red with these. These are a standalone. This Eight of Cups alone, red with these cards, tells me that they're walking toward the Nine of Cups. But they do have a fear. There's fear here, way over here in the corner with this Four of uh, Pentacles reversed. Fear of losing you because of their silence. And they're wondering... You know, uh, they're probably trying to get the strength together to come in and say something. They're wondering if they should just walk away, you know, uh, a little bit. But let's see what they do. What's this Eight of Cups here? I'm, okay, I got my shuffle. Fingers crossed, Scorpio. Yeah, Eight of Pentacles. I need one more. And the Two of Cups. No, they're not walking away. They're walking toward the Nine of Cups, the, uh, the next card. The, they're not walking away. Uh, the Nine of Cups is wish fulfilled. This just basically says all that. Uh, Eight of Pentacles clarifying the Eight of Cups tells me they've done a lot. They've looked in the mirror. Again, these cards are red with these cards. They've looked in the mirror. They didn't like what they saw, and they did the work on themselves. This person's done a lot of work on themselves. They really have. And we ask, why, why is that here? Two of Cups, because they know you're a soulmate connection. Look, the Two of Cups, Four of Wands, Destiny card in the energy of the uh, connection, the Sun, this is, uh, this is Twin Flame or Deep Soul Connection. I knew it was a powerful connection. This is two soulmates coming together as the final card out here in our reading. They are going to come towards you. They, they truly are. In fact, I'm not going to extend this one because there isn't much to tell about this person other than they're not good with expressing emotions and they're trying to make a plan to come towards you because they know they have to express emotions. With this Six of Pentacles, they know if they don't give you, meet you halfway, you're going to send them packing. So I'm going to ask, what actions is this person going to take towards Scorpio? Instead of just pulling straight universe cards. What actions is this person going to take towards Scorpio? Tell me. Here we go. I got my shuffle. We always pull the first card from the bottom with the universe. This is basically the universe, just a specific question. Death card. Right there. Out with the old, in with the new. All right. Clarified by the moon card. This is Secrets Revealed. It's the moon upright. When I say Silent Bob off this card, I'm reading the energy reversed or sideways. This is straight up, this moon card. This is Secrets Revealed. All will be revealed, causing transformation and rebirth in this thing. What else are they going to do towards Scorpio? They're trying to manifest this. I told you that. They're planning every word. That's manifesting. When we think about something and we plan, we're manifesting it. That's why we got to be careful not to inject fears into our thoughts. 
or we manifest those fears. Ten of Pentacles, we ask why, we get the Ten of Pentacles. Or the Ten of Cups, I'm sorry, Ten of Cups. Happily ever after. Because you're the happiness. Look, I got the Minor Arcana Sun and the Major Arcana Sun. Right here. Happily ever after. You're the, they're manifesting happily ever after with you. Next card out is the Ten of Pentacles. <laughs> I called this the Ten of Pentacles. I guess my psychic ability is kicking in today. Uh, I'm not a psychic, but I guess I got some because I knew that card was there. Ten of Pentacles. Long term. They see long term with you. Stability. Uh, they're going to talk to you about that, I bet. Five of uh, Wands. Uh, there's probably some uh, miscommunications. There's just, they, they at least know there's some stuff they need to clear up here with you. Okay? Next two card message out is the Seven of Cups. They're not sure how to do it. They're not quite, they're making a plan. The Seven of Cups. Options, choices. And they're a little confused by it, maybe. But they got options and choices. They're making a plan. It's what I've been saying since the beginning. And that's clarified by the Three of Pentacles, them coming in. I'm coming in and wanting to build a foundation with you. Straight up. Top card. Bottom card. Out, top card out of the deck. Last card out. Ace of Cups. They want to build a foundation. They're gonna, this is a cup of love that hasn't been dumped out yet. You haven't received it yet. It's just there. They're coming to dump it on. They're bringing you an Ace of Cups. We ended with the Two of Cups. We got the Ace of Cups right here. They're bringing you their cup. This is their cup. I'm going to dump it all out on it. It's like I told you from the beginning, Scorpio. This is, this is very interesting. This is someone, it's very clear in the energy. It's very clear in the card poll who looked themselves in the mirror and realized they screwed up. This is a common theme this month. They're afraid to lose you cause, cause, and they feel like they're going to because they didn't and if, if they don't act fast because they, they've never told you how they feel, how they really feel. Not the bullshit they gave you, how they really feel. And it's all destined to happen. And they're working out a plan. It's clear here in the cards. They're, it was clear in the energy. They're working out a plan. They don't want to come across too emotional. And they don't want it to sound like some sort of business opportunity. You know, because you're, again, the Queen of Swords here, your person is kind of Mr. or Mrs. Spock in a lot of ways with their emotions. But for you, the emotions are so deep, you're actually opening this person up. This connection is opening this person up in ways they've never been opened before. So, it's pretty damn spectacular. This is a damn fine reading. I would expect to hear from this person. Probably, you know, these energies are all very close in these energy updates. I would say, I would say during May at the very least, uh, top top week of June at the very latest. But uh, I would say sometime in the next few weeks. I mean, the energies are right here. I mean, they're not going to dilly dally on the plan. There is an urgency with the Four of Pentacles reversed. They do feel like if they take too much time because they've already wasted a lot of time. That they're gonna lose you so it's right there yeah it's right there in the reading I hope this reading was helpful to you I, I find this very interesting I find it very if I were you I would find it a little flattering that somebody's spending all this time thinking about you making a plan to come towards you that's somebody who's got mad respect for you doing that mad respect for sure that's that's damn fine I hope this reading was helpful to you if you like this reading please like share and subscribe I appreciate all your subscribers and uh, good luck to you with this. This is really good.